Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. Today we've got another episode of 10 Burning Questions and I'm joined by one of my lifelong friends, Kevin Hurd, who also has the world's largest Halo collection. You heard that right, world's largest. And we've got him here today to ask 10 questions from me, a couple from Discord, and then a couple from my Patreon as well. Kevin, how are you doing today? Pretty good. Pretty yeah, good. It's good to see you. We haven't talked on video for years. Which, life gets in the way, especially like when I moved to China, I lost contact with a lot of my Halo people. But I'm so happy to be like building these bridges again. I'm always just such a fan of your work. Kevin has the Facebook group Halo Collector. Why don't you just introduce yourself in general? Like, uh, what's going on in your life and how long have you been collecting for? Hello, my name's Kevin Hurd <laughs> and I am the owner and one of the admins of HaloCollector.com. I've been a collector ever since Halo came out. Uh, before that, I was a big collector of Star Wars. Wars, Star Trek, mm. uh, 80s stuff like Transformers and G.I. Joe. All the popular stuff. <laughs> all the stuff. You've dipped your toes in all those pools, yeah. <laughs> Halo seems to have stuck for the longest. Like, what makes Halo so definitive? Why has it just stayed in both your collections? And I guess, why, why are we still talking about it today? Like, why is Halo so popular? It's the games. It's the, the new books coming out all the time. Mega Blocks is one of the mm -hmm. the best collectibles out there because there's every it year really there's is. new stuff coming out and there's a constant mm -hmm. flow some of these companies that produce merchandise they they do small runs and and you can fill up yes fill up your basket or your collection and you don't see them again and and mega blocks has been great because year after year just keep on doing it yeah i i've said that to my friends they just I mean, when's the last time we had a main mainline Halo game? It's been so long. Yet Mega Constructs have just been keeping up. And that's really what always surprises you. Every single year, regardless of Halo game releases, Mega Constructs is always in the toy aisle. People are always buying it. I mean, new people can go back and get older stuff. They usually find it products on the shelf. I, I know some of the distribution has been... <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's been sketch at times. <laughs> There's a great community too, around the, the blocks constructs. Mm. It's the versatility of the product, isn't it? The sheer amount of characters, armors, vehicles, dioramas, scenery that you can do. And it's also, I think, why Mega Construct sticks for the longest, because not only is it a consistent scale throughout the years, even when you go between new and old articulation, you can still have them in the same battle. Yep. And then, you know, all the other toy ranges, they go with different scales. How's your experience with Jazzware so far? Do you think they're nailing the new line, the new World of Halo scale? Yeah, I, I think they are, actually. I, I think mm. they, had a, they had a great launch. It's the first wave, and, and they've, they've definitely had some production problems here and there sure but yeah. I, I love that the three and three quarter inch oh my <laughs> a, a size you can actually get vehicles well I saw that like you used to be a big Star Wars collector and that's is that basically the same scale three and three quarter yep that's mm. that's the uh, that's the same scale as GI Joe that's the same yeah. scale as Star Wars when Star Wars first came out that's that's the size they wanted. Before that was really popular right. was the like seven, eight inch mega. Mm. That was kind of the thing. But but Kenner came out with those three, three quarter inch figures and, and they came yeah. out with the ships and that totally every company from then on was like three and three quarter where you can make vehicles, where you can make all the play sets. Yeah, that's that's the way. And I, and I love that Jazzwares embraced that. The fact that we can now get slightly scaled down vehicles is the big deal. Although that ghost, that ghost is pretty hefty. I got that the other day. It's not small. They're toys. Mm. You know, they're, they're some sometimes toy toy lines are too aimed at pretty statues that don't have articulation, yeah. that don't have yeah. durability, that break really easy. Right. You know, there's this right. balancing act, and I think Jazzware mm. is uh, has gotten it. All right, so let's go through the history of Halo Collector. Right. I saw that the Facebook group was created on the sixth of March in 2013, but I'm guessing that was not the start of the journey. Like, how long have you been on forums with the name Halo Collector? There was 10th anniversary of Halo and Halo Fest. You know, everybody was you know Halo Fest and Reach and. Halo mm. CE, you know, the, the, the anniversary. Mm. And it was a good time. There were two websites, well, actually three websites that were really important 
for everybody. Halofigures.net, I believe it was. Yeah. And then there yeah. was another action figure site. I, I, I forget the exact name. And then the McFarlane. The Spawn.com mm. had had a had a group, and everybody was doing these online bulletin board systems or, or, or uh, forums. Sure, yeah. And at one point, McFarlane said, "Oh, guess what? We're going to move everything onto Facebook." And they just closed it all down. They closed it all down. When you have your own standalone website and your own standalone forums, you've got to go out there and grab new people from other places you gotta see, you gotta yeah. do the twitter you gotta do all the social media to, to pull people to come in and so yeah. these two other groups just weren't doing that so right after halo fest i was like this is so awesome it's such a big event we really need to you know keep it alive and and keep you know get that community going very nice very nice yeah so it's it's been a long journey quite a journey for both of us really i mean i had my nine year anniversary on youtube just the other day so what handle did you go as in the community before that a lot of places i was mr sci-fi <laughs> mr sci-fi that's good i mean halo collectors just to the point you know it, it's 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 a full package deal i don't know what your opinions on this are when the halo infinite trailer dropped i just didn't understand Understand how they were calling the banished the most ruthless foes that the humanity has ever faced. The Covenant wanted to wipe out all sentient life. Cortana wants to send these guardians to every she already has to every known corner of the galaxy and and rule with an iron fist. I don't know how the banished are worse than that. Show don't tell, you know. I'm expecting to be blown away, but you know, that's yeah. yeah. Uh, it's it's hard to say, but I. I think they're going to have a lot of content that is just going to keep mm. rolling in. You know, e everything's been like thrown out the door and I've heard through different people that different things were delayed for different reasons and mm. it was just such a such a storm. Yeah, we got to keep pushing. Yeah. I I think they're just going to keep at it and, and finally have something that's awesome. I certainly see that the right heads are working on this. I mean, just look at the new MCC update. Tinted visors that reflect. We got like animated nameplates. We got ODSTs in Halo 3, a brand new map, Hornet skins. I mean, come on. Let's go back to Halo Collector for a second. Let's let's talk about your collection, because when we're talking about sprinkling breadcrumbs, you certainly do that all the time on your Facebook group. You're showing us these crazy Goodwill hauls like all the time. Everyone's very jealous of your collection. Let's talk about what was the first piece that you added to your collection. The very first thing you bought. I too. remember buying my first copy of, of Halo CE. I owned Halo before I owned an Xbox. Oh, same, same, exactly, yeah, yeah. I knew I wanted an Xbox, and I knew mm. I had to have Halo. And Xboxes were, uh, they were kind of pricey, you know, they, they, they mm. were, you know, a step up from all the systems that were out there. It was easier to lay down the, the money to have that in hand, and then, and then I, if I had the game, then I had yeah. to, I had to, exactly. Exactly. to save that money and, and work up to get my own Xbox. In the meantime, I could go over to my friend's house and I'm, mm -hmm. you know, I, I got a copy of Halo. Okay, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's sweet. That's sweet. My, my first copy was Halo 3 and my auntie gave it to me for free because she got it at a Microsoft conference. And then my brother and I pitched in for uh, an Xbox 360. And I too remember the day, the, the very first time we launched Halo 3, we went straight on Valhalla. My mind was blown. How about your first toy? What was your first Halo collectible? That would be a, that would be a Joyride Master Chief. I see you pick them up from Goodwill all the time. One thing about uh, thrift stores is uh, is going in there every day, trying to check, you know, seeing what's on the mm. shelf. You never know. I found an Xbox Series S. I saw, yeah. For half price at a Goodwill store. Stuff happens. <laughs> Who traded that in? I know, this was like a post. How long had the Xbox been out? Like a couple of weeks, maybe a week? Yeah, yeah. Who gave that? Who traded that in? How large would you estimate your collection is now? Uh, roughly how many pieces? I, I couldn't even put a number to it. I'm guessing it's four digits. <laughs> <laughs> I, and and I, I don't even like to say that it's the largest collection. There's people out there that are very avid collectors too, and, mm. and they have mm. pretty 
impressive collections, but they're focused in another area, so yeah. they yeah. might have more of something else. For example, Mega Constructs, yeah. I like to elevate everybody and not single out that, you know, oh, you, you know, oh no, it's the size of your collection that matters. Yeah. It yeah. doesn't. And actually, I have something on my desk today. It's this little little plushy grunt that you uh, you gave to me, I don't know how many years ago, maybe 10 now. It'll always be the prize of my collection. Everybody asks in every video, where did you get that grunt? Like, nobody knows about it. You've seen that picture of me with the, all those grunts around me? <laughs> I uh, have, yeah, 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 yeah. You need to send me that after this video, yeah, yeah. I know that a lot of people who watch my channel are Halo Mega Constructs fans primarily. What percentage of your collection would you say is Mega Constructs, Mega Blocks? 60 or Ooh, 65? Yeah. I would, I mean, just no one's ever been this, that, as constant Lego purists, you know, mm. will, will give those away to you if you ask for them. I walk into Lego stores, there's a lot of them in, in Hong Kong. They'll sell you a Tony Star that's just the exact same, but a couple of scars. And I get that there's like similar things like that in Halo Mega Constructs, but at least they're so articulated. You can switch out those armors at will. A good secret, which now won't be a secret, <laughs> <laughs> but something I do is I specifically go to stores that sell used Lego sets and, and that type of specialty store. When they buy lots, there's usually some Mega Construct oh, yeah. stuff in there. And then they either throw it away or they donate uh, it. Or yeah. someone like me has made a deal with them where like, hey, when you get a box full, you know, I'll pay you 20 or 30 Send bucks. Halo. And Sweet. going out there and finding those stores and, and making a relationship with the owners or do the, all that sorting because they're they're not interested in it. That seems like the key, yeah. You've interacted with a lot of big names at 343 in the past. Like you've had a very good relationship with like all these people. You've been to the Halo office. Yeah, the museum is at the studio, yes. So is there anyone in particular, they can either be Halo community members 343 or Bungie employees that you just want to give a shout out like who has helped you on your journey the most? Uh, there, there's so many people I, I, I would hate to, to single anyone out. Obviously Jay helped make that video and he's not at 343 anymore but he's his crew was I really appreciate that. When I had a panel at Emerald City Comic Con there were several people from the consumer lines there and um, yeah. down at San Diego I, I sat with Frank. You know all of those guys are just great people they actually love Halo. I, 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 lo I like them all. So The respect that Halo uh, and 343 give to the fans, it's wonderful. I've been like, oh, here's Mr. Kevin Hurt. Oh, will we? <laughs> you, know, you treat me like a celebrity when I, when I went yeah. up. I, I just yeah. was, I wanted to be Joe Schmo in the, in the line, the, yeah. you know, you know, but they're all, hey. <laughs> Yeah, like you would be Halo Collector even if they didn't give you that attention. Like it's just it's just kind. It's just nice of them. What about your collection growth in 2020? Did you see 2020 as a year that you could amass much? What was the best thing you acquired last year? I like the Thousand Toys Master Chief. I really like the Jazzware Warthog. Did you put any Star Wars toys in there? I haven't yet. Actually, no. <laughs> All right, give it a go, give it a go. I expect to see pictures after this. How about uh, we go through your entire collection? Oh, God. Piece by piece. What is the thing that you sleep next to at night, you know? What, it, what is like the holy grail? What, what would you say is the holy grail of Halo Collective? There's so much. The autographs are always, I always appreciate those. Sure. Isaac uh, Hannaford, he worked uh, everything from Halo 3 all the way up into uh, Destiny. There were... Uh, several instances that he did uh, some some custom artwork for me. Those sketches, I, I really, I, I, I've got a book of sketches by various artists from Bungie. Very appreciative of all that. I saw in the video, which I'll, I'll mention just in a second, that you had uh, one of the one in a hundred mail order AC Spartan shotguns. Yeah. You said a friend gave you that. Did you have number 24, was it? I believe so, that's, yes. Uh, I got number 10, it's uh, it's pride of my collection too. Yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, when you eventually open that Halo Museum. People will be driving by and, and see, you know, a blue spotlight just going straight up, you know. Oh uh, yeah, 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 like a, like a spire, yeah. <laughs> yeah. My last question for today, Kevin, now this, uh, this was kind of poached from me in this video, the Halo Bulletin episode six. Which character in Halo would you be and why? <laughs> Uh, Chalkus or Chalkus or 
Junkie <laughs> Spark. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you said you saw yourself as a as a guilty Spark man, right? Yes, yes. I was about to say I could see you as a librarian. Yeah, you're the you're the curator of Halo. That's that's essentially what it is. All right, that is my questions. I th I think I went way over ten because this is just a very exciting interview. Now we're gonna head over to Discord where I ask all of my community members if they want to ask any questions. We got some very weird ones today, but I'm asking the most sane ones. Uh, there's a lot of weird people on there. The first one is from CK19 but new. He says. What's your favorite Halo prop that you own? Um, a Cortana chip. I actually had bought a 3D printer and and had uh, someone from the community draw one up. That's pretty badass, honestly. <laughs> Alright, the next question's from The Rookie, and he asks, what would your dream Halo set be? Now this can be Mega Constructs, this can be Jazzwares, whatever you want. I love Forerunner architecture. How about the library? Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, something that just even something that could light up to have be fun because I, I think yeah. with all the sentinels and robots and all that and the architecture and and i mm. just love that stuff and then the last question for today is from bam bam productions he asks if you could take control of 343 industries what would you do differently or what would you have them focus on hagar would would have been released that was the halo mega blocks constructs video game. Hashtag bring Hagar back. Let's get it trending, guys. Come on, we can we can do it. <laughs> that is do it. even just like a little mobile game. We'll get it we'll get it done. It could be crazy good. It could, yeah, yeah. They have the potential and it's their only license. Like their only license that they could really bank on. I know that they're pushing a lot with He-Man right now and they seem to be doing very well, especially with that new advent calendar that just got announced. Yeah, let's let's see let's see if we can get it trending, all right? <laughs> <laughs> they have like a physics engine in them and stuff. So you yeah. you could like actually like build stuff I, 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 I'm a really big guy into into technology and I push augmented yeah. reality all the time that is yeah. it is going to be so so much. Yeah, Halo augmented reality. That's a dream. I think that'd make me nauseous, man. That's too much. There's too many bright lights. Although walking through the library would be pretty fun. It can be very little. It doesn't need to be all encompassing like VR. With toys and sets, you could you could literally like this is where this mega constructs part goes, and you could literally see like instructions where the the brick flies into the the place. At least mega constructs is trying with like interactive instructions online. They're quite. They're a little bit animated, you know, they're not they're not too bad. But yeah, Kevin, that brings us to the end of our 10 burning questions. That was roughly 10 questions from me, and then some from our Patreon and our Discord. Thank you so much for, for joining me. It's it's a true honor, and I really just, I want with this series to give more Halo community members the spotlight, uh, get, the, get their names uh, recognized, and just all of their work that they've done to, to build the Halo community and the name. And if you guys want to find out more about Kevin, you can check out the Halo Bulletin Episode 6. 343 camera team goes to Kevin's house and films a full interview. They show off his storage bins with all of his prize halo pieces it's a real treat i thank you guys for having me on and i i love that the community is able to help each other out just get more fans into it it's been a pleasure kevin i'll see you next time